Okay, let's talk about another project, which is using livestock to control invasives. Now down here we have stilt grass all over the place. It's all stilt grass out through there. And uh, how long have these pigs been in here? Since Friday, so three days. Three days, pretty much ate it all. Three days over here, no stilt grass. Now, that's not to say it's not going to grow back. Right. But they took care of it, and... There's already some sort of grass popping up here, but you could possibly replace the stilt grass with something that's more aggressive. Yeah, and like, this I, I put some ryegrass hay down. Yeah. Um, so I'm hoping, because ryegrass will come in really thick. Well, that kind of looks like what's growing here. Plus, there's something else here. There's a forb here too. Anyhow, worse than I don't know if it can get any worse than stilt grass. The worse than stilt grass is mild minute reed. And you got a pretty bad infestation. So what are we gonna do over here, John? Look at that. That's about one year's growth too. <laughs> yeah, so you can see I'm five eight that's about eight foot right there. Yeah, and then that's about fifteen feet going up the tree. Yeah, so in Pigs will eat just about anything, and once I get them over to this section, they will tear this down, and they will eat all this stuff. Look at the grapes in there. Yeah, the grapes are, the wild grapes are awesome this year. They're just about ready to pick. They're actually doing better than my, my uh, common grapes or regular grapes. Well, that'll entice the pigs to start pulling stuff down if you leave them there. Yeah, and by the time, see right now they're about 40 pounds, so by the time they make it over here, they're going to be about 150 to 200 pounds. And you have a lot more hog that needs a lot more feed, so they're a lot less choosy about what they want to eat too. There's a lot of it. Wow. Don't underestimate what five pigs can do. Okay, so you put five pigs in here and pen them in, how long is it going to take them to polish off all this mile a minute? Uh, I would say uh, no more than two weeks. Okay. I want to see that. Yeah. They'll, they'll, it's like anything else. If you make them eat it, they'll, they'll, they'll eat it all of it. By the time, after two weeks, they'll have rooted and pulled all this stuff down like that uh, pig weed right there. Yes. And people think they won't eat it, they'll eat it. Okay, so once they eat it, then what? Now, you don't want to spray anything on your place. No. But it's just going to come back next year. But if you would want to spray, it gets to be a manageable level that you could spray it. Well, And I'm keep up with it. Right, and I don't disagree with you. You are correct. Um, I just prefer not to do that at this point and... Um, because I we didn't have pigs the last couple of years, um, this kind of got out of hand. But if I run the pigs through here every year, then it the the pigs keep it at a manageable level. And I'm hoping at some point that um, remember or before this we were talking about it reseeding, that the pigs will actually eat some of the seed and stuff. Because if they'll dig up an earthworm and eat it, they'll dig up a seed and eat it. And I've seen them dig earthworms and eat them. Pigs love earthworms. Well, hopefully. You'll get them in here before the seed drops out. That'll help a lot. Yeah. And the other thing, like these walnut trees, when they drop their walnuts, they can lay there and rot, and those pigs will sit there and chew <coughs> on a walnut for a half an hour before they crack that thing open. <laughs> and they and they love them, and, and walnuts are a great source of all your fatty acids and stuff, and it, it, it puts good weight on the hogs too. So this whole bottom's loaded with walnuts. It's... It, so that's another benefit. Keeping, just keep moving them down. Huh? Yep, you just keep moving them down. Keeps all this brush. Yeah. It sure beats the hell out of going in there and trying to do something by hand. Well, yeah, and you're saving yourself a lot of time and, and definitely a lot of effort. <laughs> and then after a while, you can eat the pigs. And then you eat the pigs. Makes good bacon. All right. You heard it here. The <laughs> best smoked pork chops I've ever tasted. <laughs> by far. And it comes off of eating invasives, and what else do you feed these guys? Uh, I do feed them some grain. Well, oh, you cheat a little bit, didn't you? Yeah. 
<laughs> well, it's good just to just to supplement. Just to just for because it gives them minerals and stuff too, so it does help. But you don't have to spend a lot of money feeding them. But no, they have plenty of stuff. I probably feed them twenty five percent of what a normal person does. And that's considered a free range grass fed pig. Yep. All right. Give it a try.